Good morning. So I'm back in the lab and I took my sample out that I was dry, well, crushed, dry sieved, water sieved on Friday. I had it in this beaker. And now it is going through magnetic separation, which is the next step. And Franz, which is the magnetic separator, is separating our sediments into magnetic and non-magnetic. And if you look right here, that's the magnetic stuff. And that is non-magnetic. And we're actually only going to look at the non-magnetic stuff and put the magnetic stuff away for future study. We didn't have that much left, as you might remember from Friday. But if you look in here, you can see it's going down. So this is the feed. The sediment comes out of that. And this is the chute. It travels here. This is a big magnet. And whatever is non-magnetic is going here and down this chute to this container. Whatever is magnetic is following this magnet right here and going into the black container. So after this, we do something called heavy liquid separation. So when this is done, we're going to put what we have left for non-magnetic particles in sample CB2. We're going to put it in a vial like this. Fill it with heavy liquid, LST, which stands for, hold on, lithium polytungstate. Am I right? Am I right? Oh man, lithium heteropoly tongue states. Forgot the hetero. Franz. Welcome to Franzing. Hello. So I'm back and we are done with the magnetic separation of Franz. Franz, by the way, is the magnetic separator. His name is Franz. That's why I call him Franz. Um, anyway, hey, this is really neat. So the two separations of magnetic and non-magnetic are really different in color. Check it out. Magnetic is the dark stuff. Non-magnetic is the light stuff. This is what we are going to look at. This is what we're going to bottle and put away later. But it's such a difference. The magnetic is really sparkly. Actually, it's really pretty. Non-magnetic has a little bit of sparkle, but not as much kind of looks just like particles of sand. And that's what we're going to look for sanadine in, which is a type of mineral that is really good at being dated by the argon mass spectrometer upstairs, which we can find the dates of when these minerals came into being, which is really the whole point of this. So we need to find the perfect grain. We're on our way. So next, this is going to go into LST. 2.62, which is the heavy liquid separation, one of our last steps. So right now I am bottling up the magnetic portion of our sample CB2. And I'm putting it in this little vial that's labeled. There we go. I'm tapping up the little bits that are left. There's still some in here. This we're going to store and put away because we don't need it anymore, but it's labeled just in case we want to look at it later. Now we are going to put the non-metallic stuff, the lighter stuff, in this. Soon we will add LST 2.62. I'm cleaning up Franz. He's been very dirty. And uh, just so you know, this is how we clean in the lab. We use methanol and Kim wipes. We wipe everything down and then we air gun them. So I save the air gunning for last because it's so fun. Air gun. It's very powerful actually, you have to be careful. And now I air gun out at your peaks. Even little screws. kind of loud. Once I'm done air gunning everything, 
I will put it in this little drawer where the Franz parts go. And then Franz will be ready to go for his next customer.